Game theory is a strategic theory uh, in which uh, there are generally two or more players, so-called, or actors, uh, and the outcome of their game depends on the choices of all the players. Uh, so it's an interdependent decision situation. And a mathematical theory was developed um, going back to the 1920s, but primarily in a book by John von Neumann, the great mathematician, and Oscar Morgenstern, an economist who uh, were both at Princeton, uh, called Theory of Games and Economic Behavior. This book was published in 1944, and that really started uh, the subject of game theory. Uh, and it's been applied in numerous areas. Um, I'm a political scientist, uh, so it's been applied to the study of voting in elections, to international politics. Um, it's probably most prominent in economics. Uh, most of economics is now written in game theory terms, especially microeconomics, but macroeconomics, international economics as well. Uh, it's been applied to biology, evolutionary biology, uh, the evolution of species, uh, their conflicts. Um, for examples in my work, uh, I've applied it to um, texts, uh, including the Bible. Um, I looked at the Hebrew Bible and the 20 stories of conflict and intrigue that I thought were most game-like. Um, and starting with Adam and Eve and uh, going through most of the famous stories, and some not so famous, I tried to show with game trees and payoff matrices that the biblical characters were by and large rational, God included. Uh, I made applications um, in political science, and I've also uh, done applications to sports, uh, the selection of draft players, for example, in professional sports leagues. So those are some examples. That's great. I was hoping we could walk through a couple of specific, uh, a couple of those specific examples you mentioned. Can you, can you take it, walk us through one biblical example of that? Uh, okay, I could try. Uh, take the story of Samson and Delilah. Uh, in this story, uh, Delilah, a Philistine, tries to get the secret of Samson's strength and uh, makes three attempts. Uh, Delilah is a woman that Samson loves. Um, he uh, very much dislikes being harassed all the time for the secret of strength, but he refuses in the first two attempts that Delilah has. Finally, he succumbs and he tells the secret of his strength and then bad things happen afterwards, so Samson gets his revenge in the end. And I think the interesting question you can ask about this story is how could somebody like Samson be so stupid as to ignore several warnings? And uh, my answer is that if you look at Samson's previous career, he uh, lusted after almost every woman he met, every beautiful woman anyway, and Delilah was the latest. So you can explain his behavior as rational in terms of uh, this interest in women uh, allowing him to think uh, that he was taking a risk maybe in telling the secret of his strength, his long hair, which of course was cut off, um, but it might not be disastrous. Uh, in the end it was disastrous. Uh, Samson was... Um, mutilated, he was treated with derision, but he got his revenge. He was placed between two pillars. Uh, his hair had grown back at that time, and he collapsed this big stadium, killing thousands of Philistines. Um, so in games, bad things can happen, and one can explain this in terms of uh, the rationality of the player's actions. Um, and I define rationality simply to mean that you make better, you can rank alternatives and you choose the best alternative. But in a game, it's more complicated because you have to choose the best alternative in light of what other players may choose, and that affects the outcome. But it doesn't depend on your goals. Whatever your goals, uh, if you do the best to achieve them, I argue you're being rational. So if somebody um, desires to commit suicide, maybe somebody who's in great pain, 
uh, and succeeds in doing so, I consider that behavior rational because this was the goal of the person. Uh, most of us don't have the goal of committing suicide. Most of us have other goals, winning in a contest and the like, uh, getting as much uh, profit as we can from an enterprise. Uh, but whatever the goals, if you choose the most effective means to achieve them, you're being rational. Uh, that's, I think, the best way of thinking about rationality. It's not that goals are reasonable, it's that the means to achieve the goals uh, are effective. Mm -hmm.